Well, good morning, YouTube. Here we go again. It is August 13, 2020. We are having the hottest stretch of days in all of 2020. We're still in the COVID-19 pandemic, and I'm going camping. That's right, folks. I'm getting ready to hit the road, and we are going to go back up to Cooper Lake State Park and pay a visit to the Doctors Creek unit. Wasn't able to get in there last time I went there, and I think it's a perfect time to do it. So let's get on the road and let's go see Doctors Creek Unit, Cooper Lake State Park. Here we are, Cooper Lake State Park. We made it. Not too bad a drive coming out of the North Dallas Metroplex. Beautiful park, as you can see. Let's do a real quick site review. Site number 17. First thing, we're right next to a parking area, which is yeah, but there's a path that goes down to the lake over here, which was kind of why I picked that. Concrete pad. We have a nice level concrete pad, but it's narrow. Plenty of oak tree shade, so that's west. So we're, we're gonna be in the shade and man, we're gonna need it. It's supposed to be 102 degrees today. Heat index 110. But as I was saying, concrete pad, very pretty level. Uh, all four wheels and tires are still on the ground. Water and 30 amp. The one thing that uh, kind of threw me was I ended my jacks came off the end and I had to do that for a reason. And that reason will become evident pretty quick. Pretty quick. While well, we're back here at the back on Verizon, I had uh, two bars, but there is a tower southeast of, just southeast of Cooper. So if you have a, a directional, I now have four bars because it's only about two miles to that tower. Wooden picnic table on a concrete slab, the ubiquitous lantern hook, fire ring, and charcoal cooker not much in the way of a patio and this this is why i had to hang off with the jacks because with my door i was opening right up onto that tree but the most uncomfortable thing is the drop off It'd be nice if they could fill that in because no matter how if you've got an rv you're coming out there's a big step and then a really big step but I made it work I wish I had a bigger one of those site number 17 Doctors Creek unit Cooper Lake State Park I'm gonna get some lunch and then we're, we're gonna go exploring before I pull out little red 
we're going to walk down here. I see water. Oh, yeah. So the lake is up. And that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. I'm excited. Of course, the fish might not be biting. Now, all I had to go on was Google Maps or, and the satellite. And there were a couple a couple of photographs from campers that looked like this was a trail down to the water. See, it's cleared out. Man, I might need to add a, a machete to my RV kit. duckies there were two baby ducks where did they go there they are look at the baby duck there's three of them oh there's a whole bunch of them six of them this is cool i got a place to launch a boat let's go see some more stuff thursday here at doctor's creek unit of cooper lake state park I gotta tell you, I really like this one. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, the sulfur unit on the south side of the lake is it's pretty. But man, this campground is just gorgeous. Back up in all these little oak trees, or big oak trees. And I don't think there's really a bad, well, there's a couple of less desirable sites. But all of these sites on the outer edge of the loop, it back up to the trees and the lake. I think if I were to do this again, or when I come back, this is the side I'd try to get, number 22. And that's because you've got a pretty straight shot down to the water right there. more to come let's go see some more stuff if you decide that you want to visit the doctor's creek unit of cooper lake state park and you don't have an rv don't worry no worries brother be happy they have screen shelters and over there there's a little cabin i don't know if it's open or not we'll take a look see look at there it is open so you get a ceiling fan bug proof screens and a 110 plug. And outside there's water, lantern hook, fire pit, and a cooking station. Best of all, you can walk right down to the water, right there. Matter of fact, we're gonna go down to the water. Well, here we are, down by the water. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, when you look at this lake on Google Maps, satellite image. Man, it does not look that wide. <laughs> it looks a lot narrower than it actually is in person. But man, you could just sit down here under the shade tree. I mean, that's a sandy beach. You could swim right there. Let's go see some more stuff. If you're bringing your kids out to Cooper Lake State Park, Doctors Creek unit, and they're driving you nuts because you let them have too much sugar, too, too much, too much candy. Well, they've got a really nice playground. Of course, you don't want to play on this. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember. If you remember putting your legs on that hot metal slide when you were a kid, post a comment down there. I can remember doing that several times. That's a winter time slide. <laughs> Got a playhouse, the Happy Camper Playhouse. That's kind of cool. Of course, we got swings. And what I thought was, it's very thoughtful of somebody with the Texas State Park System. 
is if if mom and dad are hanging out they got a they got a porch swing you sit here and swing while you're watching the kiddos play all right let's go see some more stuff here at the doctor's creek unit so uh cooper lake state park they've got a, a three mile bike and hike trail happy camper might actually try some of this on the scooter because that, that looks kind of flat but that's always a, a, a challenge uh, none of these are really identified as handicap accessible there's some handicap accessible stuff in those areas so let's go see some more stuff here at the day use area doctor's creek unit cooper lake state park they have a they have a very nice playground but it currently it's closed and off limits due to the covid 19 pandemic but we're going to cruise down here and take a look at the at the beach hi I am Dude RV. That, that's your daddy? Your, your daddy's a lucky man. They have a volleyball net. They have a group pavilion over there, so you can, you can come down here and do your family reunion and challenge each other to volleyball and see who's the family champion. Several nice, nice size pavilions. And here we are at the swim area. Now, I, I don't understand what the purpose of the wall is. If anyone knows, if, if y'all know what the purpose of that wall out there is, because normally, you know, it's just a rope or a buoy. Is, is there some specific reason we have a, a wall? Is it to keep the waves from eroding the beach, maybe? Keep boaters out? I don't know. The wind is coming out of the south, so I'm kind of thinking that has something to do with it. All right, let's go see some more stuff. We have made it to the fish dock. And the dude on the lawnmower that are doing is just doing his job, but it's really kind of interfering with the audio. I apologize for that. There we go. It's a nice little fishing dock. And it's literally just floating. There's no posts on this. Lots of wave action happening here. You can just sit out here, relax and catch some fish. So let's go see some more stuff. I'm thinking that this is actually a very popular fishing lake. <laughs> I mean, look at the parking lot for the boat ramp. It's huge, I say, huge! There's a fish cleaning station over here. That's what that is right there. very windy today. I guess that's why there's not too many people out on the lake. Right, so there's a handicap accessible pathway, but the handicap accessible loading dock seems to be absent. So there's the boat ramp. For those of you who are into boat ramps, for my boat ramp fans, it's a three laner. All right, let's go see if we can find some more stuff.
bacon and eggs this morning. This applewood smoked bacon is good stuff. You definitely want to make sure it's level. <laughs> A lot of work. A lot more work when it's not up. Neighbor made this. It don't take much. It's super hot. Cooper Lake State Park. And it is windy. I hope the little muff is doing it, the little dead cat foot is doing its thing. Hey, whenever sirens sound, beware of rapid rise in water level. That means that we are below the dam. We're gonna go over here and check out the spillway. There's no longer a Cooper Lake, by the way. They renamed it. That's a big old tunnel. Just saw one big fish. By golly, that's a big old bass. The inaugural fish caught quite by accident on purpose I was moving and just had it <laughs> laying on the deck almost lost the rod here at Cooper Lake State Park Doctors Creek unit I just had a burger cooked on the flat top Man, that was good I didn't I didn't do a I didn't do a bear spray burger I just did a regular burger. Man, it was really good though. Thought I'd come down here and see if the wind had, had died down. It has a little bit. It's still blowing pretty good though. You can see the waves. We're in the, there's a bunch of trees blocking us right here. So it looks calm, but it's very deceptive. What I found was you get, you get out there where them ripples start and that wind is just, in my little on my in my if i get out there on the pontoon boat it's just gonna push me back into that corner it's been a good experience though with the the pontoon boat i'm i'm very very pleased with with it, it it's taking a little getting used to though all right phone's ringing cooper lake state park doctor's creek unit our stay here has come to an end it's sunday morning about eight o'clock, but man, it is just so humid. I decided I'm gonna get on the road. No point hanging out here, we're done. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching. If you stayed with me for this long, I really, really appreciate that. Remember to click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. For those of you who have been following along, this is why, this is why I do what I do for you. <laughs> y'all come back now, you hear?